What is up guys? Today I'm going to talk about why I typically avoid hot tubs. So a bacteria called Pseudomonas is actually specially adapted to survive in moist, hot, and wet climates. Pseudomonas can really colonize almost anything, ranging from urinary catheters to contact lenses and even shower heads. Now as we all know, pools and hot tubs contain a chemical called chlorine. Chlorine is what we call a halogen releasing agent. These are agents that will denature proteins, disrupt nucleic acids, those are the things that make up the genome of the bacteria, and can even interrupt oxidative phosphorylation. This is the process that generates energy for the bacteria. Now what makes hot tubs unique, of course, is their high temperature. The high temperature within the hot tub will liberate the chlorine that's within the water. What this will do is it will cause a decreased concentration of free chlorine within the hot tub due to the increased temperature. This creates less chlorine that will kill bacteria. This is why hot tubs that are poorly maintained might cause something called hot tub folliculitis. This is an infection of your hair follicles with the bacteria Pseudomonas. Luckily, most cases of hot tub folliculitis can resolve on their own, but severe cases might require treatment with antibiotics. 